So this will just be a very brief class, a basic class concerning the interpretation of what? Radiographic imaging. All right. So take time and look at what? Radiographic imaging interpretation. If you receive an x-ray or any imaging, if you are to interpret it, what are the things you are looking out for? Okay. So, um, radiographic interpretation, so that although radiograph is the correct word for plane imaging, which we address, in the present book, we have chosen to what, retain the old term x-ray. This was just basically an overview, all right? So, x-ray has become entrenched by a long use, okay? So, the process of interpreting these images should be as methodical as clinical examination. You know, clinical examination, you go step by step. You don't miss out anything. Look, feel, move. Okay? So for x-ray 2, there's a sequence to how it will guide you on interpreting an x-ray. Okay? So it is seductively what easy to be led astray by some flagrant anomaly. Okay? But systemic study is only the safeguard towards interpreting an x-ray. Okay? So a covenant sequence for the examination is this. Look at the patient first. Okay? Look at the patient and have an idea of what you are looking at the x-ray for. Okay? Then first of all, look at the soft tissues first. Look at the soft tissues on the x-ray. Okay? Next, you look at the bones. All right? Before you address the joints on the x-rays, okay? So the patient, the soft tissues, the bones, the joints. That's a sequence in interpreting an x-ray, okay? So for the patient, we said that, um, make sure that the name on the film is that of your patient. Mistaken identity is a potent source of error, all right? So clinic details are important, okay? Um, similarly, when requesting an x-ray examination, give the radiologist enough information from the patient history, okay, um, and clinical findings to help in guiding his or her thoughts towards the diagnosis possibilities and options, okay. So the thing is, I think a better way of naming this video was basically what the sequence of steps in radiographic imaging interpretation, okay? Because this was just the most important thing in this lecture, which is basically you looking at the patient first, make sure that that's the patient, you observe the soft tissues, you observe the bones, then you observe the joints, okay? So that's the sequence in radiographic imaging interpretation.